this is Jeannie at Trinity Tree, and I wanted to show you uh, this little tea leaf wreath that I have. Now, this is about, uh, it's plastic. It's, uh, you know, you can get a tea leaf, uh, it's a form of boxwood, and you can get them in actual dried, real leaves or plastic. This one is plastic, but it's really nice and thick, and it's on a um, grapevine type wreath, uh, wreath form. Um, we don't have the size at Trinity Tree right now, but we have a, a square one that is like 16 or 18 inches. So anyway, but I just wanted to show you how I use it in my house sometimes. Now, sometimes I will decorate it mostly with just a bow, and sometimes I'll set it inside a tobacco basket. Uh, sometimes I set it uh, like on top, just, you know, on an easel, or, you know, just hanging on the wall, hanging on the door, because it's, it's not real heavy. So anyway, Today, I wanted to show you how I was gonna make just a really small bow to go on it. It's not even really a bow, it's just some loops. So I took two pieces, this is just an ivory um, Dupiani ribbon. I took two pieces of that, and then I have one that's kind of a chocolate and ivory that's one and a half inches. I took a yard of that. So I've got three yards of ribbon. This is scrap ribbon, this is something I've already used before. In fact, I used this ribbon there's a coffee wreath up on top of, um, above my stove in the kitchen and it has these ribbons on it, I think. That's probably where these came from. So anyway, so you take this 36 inch piece and just fold it in half. Now this particular ribbon does not have a right and a wrong side. Um, so just fold it in half and I'm gonna make pinch at about the six inch mark and you can just measure that if you need to. Just pinch that, it's just making a loop. It's not, not a bow, just kind of making a loop. Take the second piece, and of course we can trim off these ends later if they're too, too long or anything, but I'm gonna uh, pinch that at six inches also. So just have two loops. And then I'm gonna take my one and a half inch. Now, it does have a right and a wrong side. It's, 36 inches in length also, so I'm just gonna even that up, about on six inches. We're gonna pinch that together, kind of put that on top. Now, what I'm gonna do is twist that bottom layer so that that right side will be on top when I finish. So the right side of the ribbon will be showing. And then I'm gonna take a chenille stem and just go over the top of that and bring it around to the back. To hold the chenille stem and twist the ribbon, that makes it a little easier. Okay. So, we just have three loops. That's enough. It doesn't take much for a wreath like this, okay? So, the way I'm gonna secure that to the wreath, I'm gonna add some natural a raffia, this is just some, you know, pieces, you know, a bag of raffia will just last a really long time. And then you just cut a piece and use it or uh, whatever. So I'm gonna add this to the top of the bow. I'm gonna go all the way around it and tie it. That's gonna cover up that chenille stem, tie it in the back. Well, let me tie it in the front. Sorry. <laughs> I've got my camera fixed where you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna bring that around and just tie it in the front. Of course, we'll have to trim this up a little bit when we get through, but tie that in the front. That covers up the chenille stem, okay? Now then, we're just gonna fluff that out and we're gonna put it on our wreath and then I'll kind of trim up those tails and see if I need to shorten them or what. Um, so I'm gonna take the chenille stem and I'm gonna secure that to my wreath. You can use full wire, uh, a chenille stem, or you know you can even tie it on with the raffia if you like. Um, I'm just gonna kind of work my fingers through that uh, wreath. Get the bow attached. And then we'll kind of fluff it out. I 
I really had not planned on doing a video, so I didn't have my equipment set up just right. Okay. So now then, I'm gonna hang it up here where I can see it. Now then, maybe you can see that a little better, but I'm just gonna kind of fluff out the ribbon. I'm gonna take those ribbon tails. I'm gonna trim off those ribbon tails first. I'm gonna cut those, cut my one and a half inch at an angle. Now, if the others are too long, you can shorten them, but I think I'm just gonna roll those edges up since that ribbon is the same on both sides. Let me even that tail off. But I'm just gonna roll that up. You can do that. You can do just a chevron cut or uh, or anything there. Now, since I've, I've done that, I'm gonna shorten my brown ribbon just a little bit more. I didn't get too much of an angle at that. Okay. Oh, anyway, it's just a little, a little different look uh, for a wreath. And you know, you don't have to have any bow making skills for that. So it was easy and it's a good way to use up your scrap ribbon. Uh, it only took three yards of ribbon to do that. So you've probably got lots of scraps in your closet, okay? Thanks for watching.